Alright, so in the figure below, P, Q, T, U, P, Q, T, and U is a square. Okay, what are the properties of a square? All sides of a square are equal. So this side is equals to this side. Okay, maybe let me use the red. Okay, so this side is equals to this side, is equals to this side, which is equals to this side. Alright, now T, U, V is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle all right equilateral triangle that means this side tuv okay which is tuv which is this triangle here so this side is equals to this side which is equals to this side because all sides of an equilateral triangle are equal and rs tv is a rhombus okay rs TV is a rhombus. Okay, a rhombus is uh, okay. It's got two pairs of parallel and opposite sides. So this is parallel to this. So this line BT is parallel to RS. At the same time, all the sides are equal. So this side is equal to this side, which is equal to this side, which is equal to this side. <laughs> all right, that's it's a rhombus. Find QRS. Okay, so. Where, where do we start from? Okay, we know that for an equilateral triangle Okay, for an equilateral triangle, each angle each interior angle Okay, is equals to 180 divided by 3. Why 180? Because that's the sum of angles within the triangle. So 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. So this here is 60 degrees. Alright, so this here is 60 degrees. So this here is 60 degrees. Alright, and here is 30 degrees. Alright, so um, guess what? V, T, Q is an isosceles triangle. Okay, V, T, Q. So V, T, Q, okay, because two of these sides are equal. Is an isosceles triangle. All right. So, if I want to find R V T, so angle R V T, all I have to do is take a hundred and eighty minus thirty. Okay. Since these two lengths are equal, I can just divide by two. So I get a hundred and fifty. Divide by 250 divided by 2 is 75 degrees. So this here is 75 degrees. Okay, so how do I find QRS? We know that this two lengths VT, so VT, we know that VT is parallel to RS okay so therefore angle therefore angle V sorry angle angle Q V T plus angle Q R S will make up 180 degrees and we know that Q V T is equal to 75 degrees QVT is the same as RVT by the way. Okay, we're talking about this angle. RVT, QVT, same angle. Alright, so all we have to do to find QRS. QRS is equal to 180 minus 75. Okay, 180 minus 75 and that will give you 105 degrees. Alright, 105 degrees. So this is 105 degrees. So that's A. Alright, so I've solved A. What about PVQ? Where is P? Okay, PVQ. Alright, so we're trying to find this angle, PVQ. So we know that this angle is 75 degrees. We know that this is an isosceles triangle as well. We know that this is 30 degrees.
and if this is 30 degrees how do I know that this is 30 degrees I take 90 minus 60 which is the same as what I did here okay I I probably didn't explain that because PQTU is a square alright so this is 30 degrees so if this is 30 degrees this has got to be 75 degrees because this is an isosceles triangle and this has to be 75 degrees as well alright so all I have to do is to find PVQ okay angle PVQ is equal to 360 minus 60 minus 75 minus 75 okay so take out your calculators 360 minus 60 minus 75 minus 75 and that's equal to 150 degrees so therefore PVQ is equal to 150 degrees